Welcome back. The metaverse allows people to see virtual worlds, but what if you could feel them or even smell them? Turns out that technology already exists and is having some real world effects. NBC News correspondent Gotti Schwartz explains. The metaverse today is still just an idea starting to take shape with games like Roblox or Meta's Horizon Worlds, giving us glimpses of what virtual spaces where people can interact via avatars would look like. Hey, hi, I'm Gotti. What about what it could feel like when in technology speak is called haptics? At Carnegie Mellon's Future Interfaces Research Lab, the name of the game is simple. Trick your brain into thinking you're touching, feeling, and interacting with things that aren't really there with as little hardware as possible. Whoa, 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 hold on. And a good place to start is with the sensitive nerve endings in your lips. Whoa, what the? It's raining on my lips. What is going on? The, the receptors on your lips are feeling the uh, acoustic pressure from the ultrasound speakers. Aco acoustic pressure from yes. speakers? You, wait, you're, you're touching my lips with, with sound? Yes, with sound. Do you wow. want to try the other demos first? Ah! 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 <laughs> Another prototype? A puppet-like glove that lets you feel statues that aren't there. Hello, Mr. Lion. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> I can feel the contours of his face. Or a programming trick that makes you think your finger is touching a button instead of the back of your hand. Now my spatial awareness is like, okay, so here's my, here are my hands, and it's right in the, right in the soft spot, which kind of feels like a button. Exactly. So we're leveraging different parts of the body that could be repurposed for different objects, so you can actually kind of wow. uh, believe that there's yep. something there for you to press. But while touch seems very real in the virtual world, to fully experience the metaverse, you might have to smell it. So this is a very like sweet earthy note that we use for our forest formulation. OVR technology in Vermont is developing ways to get a whiff of that woodsy forest or salty ocean breeze. Our sense of smell is influencing what we think, uh, what we feel, um, how we behave, and even who we love. CEO Aaron Wisniewski wants a virtual reality with a real world impact. I deal with um, major depressive disorder and anxiety and substance abuse. Like for Mike, um, a patient at River Rock Treatment Center who says being able to smell has been helpful. If there's like a, a strong emotion that you're having, if you can just like change what you're seeing and smelling and hearing like very quickly, I think that'll change your mood um, pretty fast as well. That's because scent is often linked to memory. You might smell something that it's pleasant to you and you immediately feel a sense of happiness despite of the fact that you might not be able to pinpoint the memory associated to it. Dr. David Tomasi is a psychologist who studied the reduction of stress in patients using OVR technology. If you are aware that the body feels better, the body will secrete those very chemicals you need to make yourself feel better. Back in Pittsburgh, one of the most mind-blowing innovations envisions a VR future without the headset. If I go like this, I can feel, I can feel all the ridges on my fingers. Yeah, so this is the magic <laughs> of surface haptics. What? We're actually uh, adhering your finger to the screen a little bit more, so we're kind of grabbing onto your finger. Wait, what? Yeah, so it's a special glass that we kind of developed in a special oh. touch panel, but it actually pulls when you when you go over these special sections. All right, hold on, hold on. You hold this, you hold the camera here, okay? Because you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> Wild, right? Whoa! <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing here. Beard, beard, beard. My <laughs> finger knows there's a beard. I, I can't describe it, but it, it feels very, very similar. Like my finger is literally tricked into thinking that I'm touching a scruffy beard. Virtual worlds that you have to see, smell, and feel to believe. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.